it's totally about the soul and the mind. I find that if I'm stressed out and busy, 20 strokes in, it's all gone. And it has some kind of an effect swimming in the sea that you just don't get from swimming in the pool. It's a, it's a completely different thing. It's, it's a, I guess it's a connection to the water, but also it's, it's wilder and colder and just sort of takes all your worries away. What I really enjoy at this time of year is the opportunity to get back into the sea. There's just nothing like it. Skeleton trees. This forest would have been burnt out in the last big fires of 97. And then at the lower level, the kind of the, the bushes have started to grow back. These are the illegal loggers that operate in the area. They stick mainly to the rivers. So they go into the forest, cut down timber illegally, and then they float it down the river behind these boats. In my family, there is a spring ritual to go and visit the Bluebell Woods near our home. This ritual is led by my mum, and she carefully monitors the progress of the bluebells in the ditches along the roads to determine the best possible time to go and see this sea of bluebells. Bluebells are very opportunistic plants, so they make the absolute most out of that window between winter when there are no leaves on the trees and the end of spring, start of summer, by which time the canopy is completely covered over and there is very, very little light at that stage getting to the forest floor. I'm right in the middle of a palm oil plantation. When we're in the rainforest at base camp, it's really noisy. The cicadas are singing, there's birds in the trees. It's that deafening sound of the jungle. In here, it's almost eerily quiet. Over here east is a place called Metarauja um, where there are some crocodiles. And I said, you know, you're sure it's not a a monitor lizard or something. She says, no, they're different. <laughs> oh, yeah. Big ones, he says, like this. There's no way that the crocodiles are in the trees. But they could be in a hole like this one. <laughs> it is such a an evocative call, you know, it's a cry, it's a song kind of all blended into one. It's a, it's a special thing. For me, it brings back very positive emotions. It is very evocative of a certain time in my life when I used to be up late at night feeding my babies. You know, the window of the, the bedroom was open and that was the, the call that I could hear. For me, it's a lovely memory of that, of that time, which was a, I guess, a hard time, sleepless nights, but also a very precious time. I woke up this morning in this beautiful cave to the distant sounds of chainsaws. And now gradually, the trees are starting to emerge from the mist. And the gibbons have started up over here somewhere. There's a pair of duetting over there. It's lovely to listen to. This is such a beautiful, serene landscape. And the bird noises and the gibbon sounds and the macaques over here, that all fits into what you would expect. But the kind of roaring chainsaws are backdrop to all of that. It makes you worried that this area could really be just decimated. Most of the year, harbour seals are more offshore. They're out fishing, they're spending a lot of time in the water. But it is really only in the summer period when they're coming together to give birth and for mating that you see large congregations of harbour seals. The seal pups have a pretty nice start to life. You know, they're being cared for at every moment by their, by their mum and they get to you know, being protected as they discover, you know, this whole new world for the very first time. There's such a contrast between the seals on land and in the water. On land, they really are lumbering and they really don't seem to be, you know, built for getting around with any kind of efficiency. Yet under the water, they are slick and graceful and beautiful in their movements. When I think of summer, I think of being warm into my bones, that feeling of the sun on your face and I guess a more relaxed pace of life, of being able to slow down and enjoy it, not be in a rush.